Hello guys, it's Wally. Welcome back and today we have uh, a very different video. It's actually a tutorial on modifying shader packs um, for use with Terra Firmacraft. Um, I've had a few requests with it for this and I do not want to redistribute anyone else's hard work in creating the shader pack in the first place. So I'm going to show you, uh, give you a guide on how to fix um, the uh, shader packs to to recognize the different water types that Terra Firmacraft has. Um, so first of all, get Terra Firmacraft installed, obvious first step. I use the AT launcher for ease. Um, and you're going to want, if we go in my mis misnamed uh, instance here, um, you're going to want to install a shader mod. I use GLSL. Um, and then also some shader packs and i have plenty <laughs> um so yeah um then what you're going to want to do is uh, probably go through these packs and see which ones you like without any modifications just to save time when you've chosen one um what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to assuming you're using a pack that does do fancy water like uh, Silda's Vibrant does fancy water, but Silda's Basic does not, um, then what you're going to want to do is extract, and we'll choose this one at random, we're going to extract the files, uh, bring that across there, just, uh, just like that, using Windows, uh, and that's going to create a folder, um, where did that go? There we go, a folder like this. And then if we go in here, uh, normally you're, you're going to find a shaders folder. Um, the uh, there there are some uh, an exception that I know of to this, which I'll come to in a moment. Um, so we go into the shaders and we're going to find gbuffers underscore water dot vsh. This file here. Um, so we'll open this up in your favorite uh, text editing program. I use Notepad plus plus because it's awesome. Um, and then what we are going to do is we're going to search for some terms. Um, so we're going to search for this text here. So control F, find next. And there you go. We can see that there. Um, if entity, so this is basically defining water and flowing water. I believe it's that way around. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a whole load of other IDs to account for the Terra Firmacraft um, water. So take that text here and I will put this text in the description. Um, and we're going to put that in so it's kind of between where the 9.0 was and the bracket um, with a space there. <laughs> um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to Control F, find the next one. So it's found that. Okay, so in this particular shader pack, it only appears once. In most shader packs I've modified, uh, this line actually appears twice. Once to control reflective, reflectivity, and once to control whether or not the uh, it waves, up, waves up and down. Um, so you need to change it each time that this these this entity reference is here. And you don't need to search for the whole text. You could just search for, well, the word entity comes up a few times, but that would be one way of finding it. Or 8.0 <laughs> will probably get you to the, the correct line as well. Uh, the important thing is you leave these identities here, because I believe this is uh, the default water gets uh, co-opted as the salt water. And you add the all of these entity IDs on the end, okay, and before the closing of the curly bracket. Um, then you save it, close it, and you are done. You can actually, um, if I can pull up that, uh, pull up the correct Explorer window. There we go. Um, you can actually use the shader pack there in its unzipped form which is awesome um, if you want to rezip it for some reason you need to zip up this folder and rename it if you zip this folder then you'll get a zip file that contains a folder called 
Zeke's version 10 RC7 settings 1.0 um, with the shaders folder inside that and it won't actually work, won't recognize it. Um, now, I said I would go over an exception to the rule um, and that is the one I know of, which is Chocobix. If we just explore in this zip, you'll notice um, it's got different levels. Um, now, I don't know if I just don't know how to use GLSL shader mod <laughs> or whether the, that particular mod doesn't let you select different levels or something, um, but it always seemed to select the low. Um, so what I simply do is I just grab the the folder I want to modify. I normally run on medium um, and I slap that in my shader packs folder. So you can see these V4 medium, extreme, low, ultra high. These are my Chocopix shaders. And inside there, once you're in there, that's basically exactly the same as other shader packs. Go in here. Find that line, find that line there, and also there. As you can see, this one has a line for, um, this will be for reflectivity, and this one is for waving water. And you can see I've made the change at both places. And that is basically it. That will give you reflective water in Terra Firma Craft using shader packs. Job done, pretty easy. So I hope you found that uh, well useful. Um, as I say, the text that you need to search for and the text you need to insert, I will put in the description below. I'll enclose it in speech marks. If you're copy pasting, only select the text between the speech marks. Okay, don't actually select the speech marks themselves. And the reason I'm doing it that way is because I do not want you to miss uh, the preceding space on this. Um, I'm not quite sure how important that is, but um, it may well break it if it's not there. Anyway, so that is it, basically. Um, that will sort your shader issues with Terra Firma Craft. And uh, yeah, um, I hope you uh, I hope you found th this interesting. Um, thank you for watching. And until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye.